Hi there! My name is Erica von Kleist, and I'm the author of A Cool Approach to Jazz Theory, a step-by-step -step guidebook that helps beginning improvisers understand the basics of jazz harmony and chords. This video is supplemental to Chapter 7, Chord Progressions. Let's start with an analogy. Imagine chords are like solar systems, and the individual planets, moons, and stars that make up these solar systems are the notes. Now what happens if you put all of these chord solar systems together? You create a galaxy, and that galaxy is a chord progression. A chord progression is the order of chords, the progress of the chords. So far, we've been learning about the notes that make up the chords, and we've been describing them by using numbers. But we also use numbers to talk about chord progressions, too, and all those numbers might get a little confusing. That's why when we talk about chord progressions, we don't use numbers. We use Roman numerals. In Chapter 5, we learned about the blues. The blues is a 12-measure long chord progression, and it's one of the most common progressions we use when we first start learning about jazz. The blues chord progression used as an example in this chapter has three different chords, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. Let's get it in your ears. I'm going to play the blues chord progression in the key of F. And as I go, I'm going to shout out the Roman numerals of the chords. See if you can hear them changing. A one, two, three. One, four, one, one, four, four, one, one, five. the top of the form. When we first learned about the notes within chords, we talked about number one as the root. That was the anchor note in the chord, and that's the note that the chord was based on. Except when you're talking about chords themselves, Roman numeral one is called a tonic. Tonic describes that sort of resolution or home feeling in a bigger picture sense. Another chord progression you're going to hear all over jazz is a 2-5-1. When you see lowercase Roman numerals, those Roman numerals are describing a minor chord. Lowercase is minor, uppercase is major. A 2-5-1 progression is based on the second chord in a key, the fifth chord in a key, and then one, the tonic. Let's start with the tonic in the key of C. One is a major seven chord in this case. So if C is one, what's two? D. And because it's lowercase, we're going to make it minor. Minor seven in this case. The five is dominant because it's almost always dominant. And then one, back to major seven. I'm going to transpose that chord progression into another key using the same concept as the melodic numbers. Two, five, one. Well, let's say B flats are one. Our two chord would be C minor. Our five chord would be F7. And our one chord back to B flat major seven. Next time you're listening to your favorite jazz tune, listen more closely to the chord progressions and see if you can hear them changing one right after another. There are so many things to listen for, and listening is one of the most important ways to learn the jazz language. Don't forget to do the exercises at the end of the chapter. And to learn more about a cool approach to jazz theory, visit jazztheoryiscool.com. Thanks for watching.